Our other top story on this Monday afternoon, more catalytic converters being stolen across the island. This is a story we've been following for some time now, but now we are seeing how the thieves are in action, how fast they're able to pull that part right out from under a car. News 12's Caroline Flynn is in Ronkonkoma with more. Well, thank you, Tara. You know, News 12 was first to report just how frequently these catalytic converter thefts were occurring all across Long Island. And it was actually this morning while we were here in Suffolk County reporting some new video we're going to show you in just a moment of, again, just how quickly these thieves are making away with these catalytic converters that we learned a group of individuals over in Nassau County in Jericho were working to try and take one from a vehicle there. It happened on Sutton Terrace in Jericho. Witnesses reported seeing a group of individuals tampering with the Honda Odyssey around 4.15 this morning. After they fled in a dark SUV, it was discovered that they left with the vehicle's exhaust emission control device. It's very close to home now. Tamara Rovowski knows just how that Jericho community is feeling. Suffolk police just released this video of a catalytic converter being stolen from her neighbor's car. It's up on your screen right now. This happened in Ronkonkoma on September 10th, just as the Walnut Avenue residents nearby were waking up. I've lived in this neighborhood for 40 years and we haven't experienced any theft like that. Neighbors say they want to see more done to solve these crimes. Somebody's buying them. That's, they got to look to see who's also doing that too. Who's buying these? These guys aren't just cutting it off. There should be something going on. There should be some sort of tracking system, the VIN number that it came off of, you know, something to that effect. Sunday, Suffolk police teamed up with Gershaw Recycling to hand out one crime-fighting tool, stickers that engrave a special serial number on your catalytic converter so that if it does get stolen, it can be traced back to you. And some neighbors here on Walnut Avenue were saying that they are anxious to get their hands on some of those kits. If you are looking to as well to protect your cars, head to news12.com. We've got the info right there. Also, police are advising residents to make sure that they are parking their cars in the garage if possible. And of course, if not in a well-lit area and if at all possible, having some security cameras uh, stationed right outside of your home with view of your driveway or wherever your car is parked. Of course, if you have any information on any of these two incidents, any others that we've reported on Long Island, get in touch with police. You can also contact Crime Stoppers anonymously. Back to you in the studio.